what's up everybody this is raven sky organic kitchen living and uh in our last video we uh finished the or finished this part of the build out of the uh, grow tower and uh in this video we're going to discuss what this component is for and this is one of the last components that we will be installing on the grow tower itself uh, i don't really have a name for this particular component um, it goes on the very top very top of the grow tower here and uh, essentially what's going to happen is uh, we've got a uh, quarter inch tubing that's going to run along well not so much run along this part but uh, we have uh, I think it's three quarter inch tubing that's going to run along this part for the water going being pumped up the tower and then once we get to about here we are going to um, put an elbow and we're going to install a quarter inch irrigation tubing that's then going to run up this way and run through the top. So this component here basically is going to disperse the water, oops, disperse the water into the grow tower. So uh, this, uh, this component actually comes apart and um, I'm gonna take a picture here so you can see it because I've only got one hand to hold the camera. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, uh, the component I just showed you um, is now in three parts. The top, um, the top part of this, well, if you kind of look at it, if you rebuild it, it kind of looks like this. That goes on there. This is a coupling. This is a two inch coupler. And that will go here, and then the last part will go to here. So that's essentially what we were working with from the beginning. So taking it apart, if I can. So the the bottom portion of the bottom portion of this, I'm going to say I don't have an exact measurement on this. It's about three inches. Uh, there's a little plug, a uh, two inch um, PVC plug, and these are like 44 cents, I think, really cheap. And uh, basically, I just took this plug and I popped it right in here, and you can see it's got a little bit of a lip on it. And on the underside, it just uh, prevents any, any uh, liquids or anything from coming out the bottom of it. So it's got a really tight seal on it. We don't need to be gluing this. As a matter of fact, we don't want to glue it at all. Uh, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to uh, We're going to drill holes and I'll show you this in a minute, but we're gonna drill probably I don't know six or seven holes right on the edges Like this all the way around it and what's gonna happen is the water is going to Drain down into this and the waters um, since you have the holes on the edges It's going to force the water to run down the edge of this on the inside so that's what I'm looking for because basically on this pipe we want the we want the water running down around the edges feeding all of the net cups inside like so so that's what this part that's what this component here is for the coupler the two inch coupler that's going to fit here and you can make it fit pretty snug which is by pushing it down a little bit and the uh, the top part is actually going to fit right in here and I'm gonna say this is roughly six inches maybe five inches and it doesn't have to be exact uh, what we're going to do on the top of this is we're going to drill a hole right in the center of this piece here and that is where this uh, one quarter inch landscape drip tubing is going to pop right through. And uh, when you get your drip tubing, um, I'd suggest you leave it in the plastic. Otherwise it'll come, un, um, come unwound and it's a little difficult to, uh, to manage once it's been unwound. So if you look right inside here, there's a little piece of the tube that got marked with a green piece of tape. So that will indicate where the, the end of it is. So this is about a quarter inch, roughly. So this piece here 
what we're going to do is it's actually going to go right in the very top it's going to pop right in the very top of this like that and we're going to push it down about an inch and a half or so so that's where the the, the hole comes in or drilling the hole comes in so uh we're going to get to the uh, next slide here and i'll show you uh, what this looks like after i've got the holes drilled and we'll explain it further So uh, what I used here was a uh, quarter inch bit and you can't really see the label. It's really small. I can't even find it. Here it is. It's a uh, one quarter inch, barely labeled on there. Uh, this is actually made for wood, but it works really well for plastic. Uh, the, the quarter inch fit pretty decent with this. Um, actually that green piece of tape made it fit just a little bit tighter so this, uh, this tubing actually goes right in here. You can see the green tape holds it in place, but if you push it in further, it kind of you know, moves around quite a bit. Uh, it's a little bit more loose than I wanted it, but uh, it's a good chance I might just utilize uh, the same method here by taking this green, green piece of tape um, wrapping, you know, once or twice around here with uh, some some tape, possibly when I put this in here, and that way it kind of holds it in place. I'm not a huge fan of it, just kind of, you know, this tube flopping all over the place. I really wanted it to be more more stable, I guess, like that. So that's probably what I'm going to do. In the uh, next video here or the next clip we're going to well I can't do that with one hand all right so I just took the uh, coupler off this last piece here so I took the uh, coupler off and uh, now we're gonna drill I'm probably gonna use a little marker and put little holes along the edges here so I know where I'm drilling so that's where we're gonna put the drills drill holes and we want to put the drill holes right in the corner right in that little crevice what is that oh. right down there in the corner and I'll kind of show you you're gonna do it at an angle like well let me come back to that okay so just as a recap uh, the the quarter inch uh, irrigation tubing is going to go through this little hole right here and uh, it's gonna shoot in there pretty there's gonna be a lot of water moving through that and then this coupler is just to keep the two these two pieces together. So what I've done is I've made uh, little black markings here, and this doesn't have to be exact. It looks like I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine little markings right on the edges, and then right in the center, I'm also going to put a hole um, for uh, to make sure that um, the water actually drains through these little holes. If there's no way, if there's no um, air air hole uh, for, let's just say all these get plugged up with water because too much is pushing through it, then uh, if there's no air hole, then this little reservoir is going to get filled up with water and um, is not going to function the way it needs to, and it may just end up coming out the top of it somehow. I doubt that's going to happen, but uh, there's always that chance. So we're going to put a little um, a little breather hole right here in the center, and. Uh, what I'm choosing to use at this um, at this minute, this is a 316. You can't really see it because of the camera, but this is a 316th uh, drill. And it's also made for wood, which also works really well for plastic. So basically I'm going to angle, when I drill these holes, I want to, I want to angle the, the drill bit all the way on the edge as much as I can, and then kind of tilt it this way. Essentially I want to get as close to the edge as I can because I want the water to actually drain down the edge of this pipe. So the closer to the edge that you can get it when you drill your hole, 
the better the water is going to drip down the, uh, uh, or it's going to seep or drip down the edges. And that's what we're doing, uh, holes all the way around it. So essentially this whole, th this, um, this whole thing, this whole thing here is gonna have water dripping all the way 360 degrees around it, all the way down the, uh, the tower. All right, so I drilled three holes. Um, I drilled one in the center and uh, three, you can kind of see them, and th uh, three of the uh, little pilot holes there. Uh, the, um, so I ran into a little bit of a challenge. If you look at it from this angle here, so we can get, uh, oh, here we go. So you can see that the three holes are not up against the side of the PVC. There's a little bit of a, I don't know, a millimeter maybe. Uh, a, a little bit of space in between where the hole and the side of the PVC um, is. And I, I'm trying to get those holes to actually kind of touch the side of the, uh, the PVC itself so um, this uh, I've got more of these little I've got more of these little plugs so if we uh, you know this is gonna be a trial and error um, that's not really what I'm looking for so I'm going to do a little bit more testing and see if I can get it find a method um, so I can get it so it touches the edges so uh, we'll check back all right so um, I did three holes on the other side using a new method and you can kind of see the three holes at the bottom, the, uh, the uh, circumference of that little hole, that little pilot hole actually touches the edge of the, the PVC piping. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, the top three was the first ones that I did and I was not satisfied with the way that they were sitting in the PVC. So you can see um, the top ones, those are top ones are what you do not want. The bottom ones are what you are looking for. And the way that I did that was I actually took this out. Uh, you got to use a little pair of um, needle nose pliers to pull this out using this tab. And uh, essentially I just held it with my hand and uh, took the drill at an angle and drilled at an angle in here like this and get the little drill. I basically drilled at an angle like this while I was holding it and there's a way you can do it without drilling into your hand you'll you'll find out when you do it um, so yeah if you drill at an angle like this it'll actually go right into the corner and it'll uh, it'll drill out the portion that you need so that it fits just perfect so that it lays perfect in the PVC like that so that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the holes All right, everybody, so I got this finished. Um, I used a little knife to um, cut around the edges to get all the little debris off. Uh, we wanna to try to get as many burrs off the very edges where the corner is right here. We wanna get all the burrs that come off those edges. That way that water drips down really nicely along the PVC, uh, PVC tubing. So that's what the finished product looks like. Just like that. So that's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna move into the next uh, next phase here. All right, everybody. So I went ahead and put this back together. Uh, so we get the final unit here for the most part. Uh, I actually took the top part out, this part here, just so you could see uh, what it looks like. So I popped this out with a little uh, needle nose. And then if you look down, down at the, or you down, you know, all the way at the bottom, you can see where the, uh, the holes have been drilled and uh, they, they're all meeting the sides of the PVC even though it kind of doesn't look like it in certain spots here, but they actually are on a closer inspection. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this piece here. We're gonna pop this on the very top. It goes on there pretty easily and it's, good, it's, good. it's pretty watertight for the most part. Now, um, one thing I wanted to address in one of my last videos, I was actually showing that this was part of the uh, this little elbow here was going to be part of the, you know, the top component. And my original idea um, after doing research was um, this, if you put this on top of here, uh, this actually acts like a, um, this is kind of like a, a breather. I'm not really sure what they call it. Um, 
it will keep, basically it will keep uh, debris and water uh, from getting into your, into your nutrient solution. But uh, I just, you know, after I figured out that, you know, if, if I'm gonna put the, the quarter inch tubing in this hole and it's gonna be sealed up pretty well, that uh, I'm not all that concerned about debris and bugs and, you know, water falling in here from above, you know, either with, um, you know, in your grow tent or however it is just out in the open. So I think I'm going to, for now, unless I find a, unless I, uh, you know, unless I need this, I'm probably not going to use it. And that will also help reduce the, the, the final cost uh, or the build out, which won't be significant. But in the end, if we, uh, you know, if we try to do all this, um, as efficiently as possible, then we may not need some certain components. So I'll probably end up taking this back to uh, HD. So uh, basically we're taking this component here. Um, this is going to go to the very top. You can see here, we're just gonna pop this in. And uh, I don't think it needs to be glued. Yeah, you definitely don't need to glue that. And not only that, um, you wanna be able to take this off in case you need to adjust it or you need to fix something. So uh, this is where the last piece is going to go. So that's kind of what that looks like and what that's for. Uh, another note, my dad was mentioning that on closer inspection, if you take a look at the way I built this, uh, it worked out in my mind, but it didn't actually come out right. On the left-hand side, you've got one, two, three, um, uh, little three Y PVCs on the right side. You've got only two and in the center we've got one two three four So that really wasn't built uh, The way that I wanted it to I kind of wanted to duplicate this here, you know one two three and then this one here should have been rotated this way and Then started the process again this one straight and this one to the right and duplicated that to make it all um, symmetrical. And I did not do that. I kind of had this idea of building it here, 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 and then going back this way, back and forth like this, when really I should have went from here to there, and then from here to there, from here to there, if you get, if you get the drift. So that's a little bit of the OCD in me, but uh, on final construction, um, that will be corrected for sure. So the, uh, next on the list here, I'm not sure if I've got enough time this morning to do it. But uh, next on the list is we're going to finish uh, the, the reservoir build out with the five gallon bucket. That's gonna be a little bit more involved. Uh, I've got, I bought the pump. The pump is here somewhere. I actually think this pump is overkill. And I paid like 50 bucks for it or something like that. Not super crazy. Now the reason why I paid, opted for the uh, the better pump was because it's got a pumping height of 6.5 feet. So there's a lot of fudge room in there because we are going to be using three quarter inch, roughly three quarter inch um, irrigation tubing to um, hook onto this and which will run it straight up. So there's a good chance uh, this, this is probably overkill. Probably. So if that's the case, you can, you can actually get one of these pumps for like uh, $30, which um, will probably do the trick for you. Another thing I got, and I'm just kind of going over some of the supplies we're gonna be uh, looking at here next. Uh, another thing I got was a, uh, this is a, a water timer. So um, where that pump, the pump is going to be plugged in somewhere. This will be plugged in as well. I don't know how to use it quite yet, but uh, once this, this will plug into the pump, and then it's set for 30 minute intervals. So I can have the water pop on for 30 minutes, off for 30 minutes, on for 30 minutes, off for 30 minutes. That's the idea behind the timer. Uh, I wanna give my plants time to breathe and then um, do an intermittent, intermediate, intermittent, I'm trying to find the right word, intermittent waterings of about 30 minutes roughly. So the uh, next video, we're gonna be doing the full build out for the most part, uh, or the initial build out with the five gallon bucket, hooking, hooking it onto the reservoir. And uh, this is where things are gonna get a little bit more technical, I guess. So, um, 
Uh, thanks everyone for uh, checking in. This is Raven Sky Organic Kitchen Living, and until next time, uh, I'll see you then. Take care. Oh, hey, here, um, real quick, I wanted to mention I've got an affiliate, uh, Amazon affiliate link down at the bottom of the description, and uh, most of the components that I did not get at Home Depot, I'm probably going to get from Amazon to make it all e easier for you, and it'll also help uh, to. Um, Help to support the channel if you use the affiliate link down at the bottom for Amazon. So I uh, just wanted to let y'all know about that. All right, take care.